Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This is the third video on the topic of ellipse, where we will learn another type of ellipse, which is an ellipse with major axis parallel to y axis. So you can see here, this is an ellipse with its major axis now parallel to your y axis. Okay, now let us start off with the middle point here. So the middle point of your ellipse is your center. The coordinate of the center is H K. So this center is exactly on your major axis. So let me highlight it for you. This is your major axis with the line x equal to h. Next, we can see here that the perpendicular line from the major axis and goes through the point center is actually your minor axis. Let me highlight it for you. So this is your minor axis with the line y equal to k. Now let's move on to the next coordinate they want to look further into which is your vertices so this is your vertices where this is the line of an ellipse which cuts through your major axis so you can have two vertices which is your v1 and also your v2 all right in order to find the coordinate of v1 and v2 it is important to note that the distance between your center and V1 is A and also the coordinate of your center to V2 is also A. Let's see here for V1, the X coordinate doesn't change from your center but still having the same coordinate which is H. However, your Y coordinate definitely change because the point K here have go down as much as distance A. So, what happened to your K since you have go down, therefore the coordinate will be K minus A. Next, let us look into the coordinate of V2. So this is the point of V2. So for the X coordinate, the point of H doesn't change. We are still using the X coordinate of H. However, for Y coordinate, definitely this point here have gone up as much as distance A. Therefore, your Y coordinate is K plus A. Because when you go up, you need to plus the distance here. So now we are finished with the coordinate of V1 and also the coordinate of V2. Now let's move on to find the coordinate of your foci here. So you have F1 and also F2. Now let's focus to find the coordinate of your foci. So you have this point here, F1, and also you have another point here, which is F2. Before we want to find the coordinate, let us take note the distance between our center and also foci. So this is the distance of C. Again, we have another one from a center to foci, it is distance C. After we take note of the distance, now we can focus to find this coordinate of F1. Let us start with the X coordinate first. So since you have your center here, your X coordinate doesn't change. You will still stay at the same X coordinate, which is H. However, our Y coordinate K here will definitely change. We have go down as much as distance C. Therefore, the coordinate will be K minus C. Let's 
let's proceed to find the coordinate of f2. Your x coordinate here doesn't change, it is still h. However, your k here have gone up as much as distance c. Therefore, our y coordinate is k plus c. Therefore, we have finished finding the coordinate of our f1 and also f2. Next, the final component that you want to look into is the coordinate of your co-vertices. So where is your co-vertices? This is the two point of your co-vertices where it is when your ellipse cuts through your minor axis. So this is the two points of your co-vertices. In order to look at the coordinate, let us focus on the distance between your center and the co-vertices. So it is the distance B. We can see another one here from center to your co-vertices. It is the distance B. So now let us write the coordinate. Let's start with the left hand side first. So originally your point is HK. Let's focus on the X coordinate from H. You have to go back as much as distance B. Therefore, your coordinate will be H minus B. Why it is minus? Because you have go to the back. How about your Y coordinate? Your Y coordinate doesn't change. Therefore, it will stay at the point K. Now, let's move on to another co-vertices here. So, originally, this point here is H. But now, we have moved to the front as much as distance B. Therefore, your coordinate will be H plus B. How about your Y coordinate? doesn't change it stays here therefore your y coordinate is just k with that we have finished writing all of the important components in an ellipse now let's summarize all the coordinate that we have found so far the first one is the center you have it here hk Next is the vertices, you have it here, V1 and also V2 with the coordinate of H, K minus A, another one H, K plus A. Next, you have the coordinate of your foci, which is F1 and also F2. The coordinate for F1 is H, K minus C. Another one for F2 is H, K plus C. You also have these two points here of your co-vertices. The first one is H minus B, K. Another one is H plus B, K. Next, we have another important thing here, which said that A must be more than B. And both of them must be more than zero from here you can have one pythagorean theorem a squared equal to b squared plus c squared with a as your hypotenuse and another side is b and c next let's see here it stated that the length of your major axis is equal to 2a so let us see here this is your major axis. So this part here, the distance is A. Another part here, the distance is also A. Therefore, A plus A is equal to 2A. So let's go to the last statement here. The length of your minor axis 
is equal to 2B. So let's check here. This is your minor axis. So one side, the distance is B. Another side, the distance is also B. So B plus B, it is equal to 2B. So that's all on the details of our ellipse with major axis parallel to our Y axis. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.